What's going on YouTube? Eric here again with another knife review or blade review. And today I will be reviewing the Western Boot Knife from Windless Steel Crafts. The overall length is nine and a three quarters inches with a five and a half inch blade and a hardwood handle. The hardwood I'm unsure of, but you know, I've read some reviews saying it could be Coco Bolo. But since it's been made by Windless Steelcrafts and they are from India, I'm guessing, you know, pretty much it's an Indian rosewood. You know, the the knife is has a hidden tang, which is connected to the handle with a pin, and I'm also assuming maybe some industrial strength epoxy. So you've got that uh, both that mechanical and that chemical bond to keep the blade into the into the handle. Now going to the uh, guard, it's listed as a nickel silver, which is you know pretty nice. You know it does you know it keep you know it does the job of keeping your hand from actually riding up on the blade. You know so you know and preventing from cutting yourself. And overall, I mean it's pretty nice. It, you know it it doesn't rust or you know and it doesn't tarnish like if it was. You know, either like an iron guard or a brass guard or a bronze guard, you know, so you don't have to worry about cleaning that. <clears throat> now going on to the blade. Uh, the, the blade itself is pretty thin. You know, you couldn't use this um, at all for like any batoning or chopping or any any hard use. You know, this uh, this is... I don't know if you could see it or not, but... I mean, it's it's a pretty thin, uh, pretty thin piece of metal. But I mean, it does a really good job at you know, you know, cutting cord, um, peeling vegetables, uh, cutting meat. You know, pretty much like household chores. And also, since it's listed as a boot knife and everything, you know, you kind of want this knife as uh, light and thin as possible to where you could you know wear it. You know, uh, you know, down in your boot or even on your person. But what, you know, kind of really, you know, sets off this blade and everything or what kind of gives the blade its the strength, its strength is this diamond cross section right here. And that kind of gives it a nice, stiff, rigid blade. It doesn't flex, doesn't bend at all. And also, like most, most buoys, it's got this really, um, this, this clip point right here. And it's got a very aggressive tip, which I like um, a lot of my knives or buoys to have, is that really aggressive tip that could be used for thrusting and um, also for prying. But I really wouldn't tr try prying with this knife. But, you know, if needs be, it, it could probably do that. Now, if you're wondering about the uh, the color of this blade, it didn't come like this. It It's normally just... You know, uh, a poly, you know, a polished blade. So what I had done is I had taken some bluing component that you use to uh, blue gun barrels and everything, and I had blued the steel, you know, to help it, to give it a uh, force patina to where, you know, it doesn't, you know, rust and um, get any kind of other um, oxidation. But anyway, it's a, pre it's a pretty good knife overall. And I like to uh, give a uh, a shout out to uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Donnie B all day, who's a really big enthusiast on um, big knives, buoys, stuff like that. And um, I just like to tell him that you know this knife is worth the money. Um, these right here are going for about just about forty bucks. I mean, if you get it sharpened, they're going to charge another five, which I do recommend. I mean, it, it does give you a um, a decent edge to start out with it does come sharp if you do have the sharpening if you do get the sharpening service it does come pretty sharp not you know razor sharp hair popping sharp or anything like that but it gives you enough you know enough of an edge to where you could actually just use it right out of the box or the package so Donnie B you know this you know this uh, this knife is for you man I mean this I think maybe you should uh, invest in it you know it's small enough to carry in your boot, you know, carry on your belt, um, and it's, you know, it's a buoy, you know, that, that's, that's what I got to say about it, it's, it, you know, 
it's a pretty decent little buoy. I mean, you know, you know, like I said, it could be used to do a number of chores and, you know, a really good self-defense weapon. But anyway, that's pretty much my take on this knife right here. Um, so just go ahead and, you know, check it out. Um, either, um, I believe Cult of Athena has them still and also uh, alanercutlery.com has them. So just, and they're, you know, like I said, they're about 40 bucks. They're actually very reasonably priced, and this is a knife that will not break the bank at all. This is not, you know, you know, like a cold steel, uh, you know, 1917 buoy. This is not like, or let's say a Randall buoy, which runs hundreds, if not into the thousands of dollars. Now, don't quote me on that price. I could be wrong, but um, Randall knives are pretty expensive. But anyway, there's another aspect, you know, moving on of this knife that, I, you know, I like to talk about is the sheath that it comes with. You know, it's pretty much the same length as the blade. And, you know, like most windless uh, products, if you've, you know, watched reviews on them, you know, rather be a knife or a sword, their scabbards aren't really much, you know, to write home about. This is pretty much, you know, your very standard... Um, hold on a second. I'm getting a text. Uh, my wife, t you know, uh, talking about, um, what she's doing. But, uh, you know, like I said, you know, these sheaths are nothing to, you know, write home about. You know, it's pretty much like a piece of leather that's been folded over and stitched, you know, pretty, pretty nicely and everything like that. And right up here, it has a, uh, metal collar. Um, either it's either, it's either stainless steel or it's made out of the same, um, material that the, uh, the knife guard is made of. And also the, the tip of the sheath also has a, a cap over it or, you know, a piece of metal to protect the, uh, the cap. And it, and the knife actually fits, uh, very well into the, uh, into the sheath. And don't turn it upside down because, well... It has a little bit of tension. You really have to shake it in order for the knife to start falling out. The only draw, I mean, the only drawback on this sheath right here is that it doesn't have any kind of a clip or a um, or any anything else to where you know you could actually you know attach it to your boot or a belt or anything like that. It's pretty much you have to kind of tuck it down in there in your sock or your boot but I'm thinking that it's just gonna you know flop around and come loose come loose and you know come out of your uh, your boot so uh, what I would recommend doing um, is either you know going to somebody who knows how to you know um, work leather and have uh, a, you know a sheath made for you with a with a belt loop or a clip in order, you know, so you could actually carry this knife right here. I mean, the knife does, you know, not the knife, but the sheath does the job of covering the blade. And um, that's pretty much all, pretty much all that uh, it, it does, really. You know, like I said, the sheath is nothing really to write home about. But, you know what? I mean, it is what it is for 40, you know, for 40 bucks, for something that's almost 40 bucks. You know, you can't really complain. But anyway, guys, there you have it. The Western Boot Knife from Windless Steelcrafts. Um, go ahead and check it out. You know, just tell me what you think in the comments below. And I will see you next time for the next review. Have a good one.